Okay. I have bubble. I bought right. out. Look, you see the gift I got with? So this is Alright, so this is a Godmore knife. And we are gonna it's the their classic series knife. We're gonna use it to chop some of this bacon up. See how it works. Very smooth, very precise. Mm, yeah. I need that knife. I love sharp knives. Oh yeah. That's a nice knife. And it fits the handle is nice because it it feels like you have a good grip. And there you go. And we'll be back to show And we'll be back to show you a little bit more of how this cuts our Christmas standing rib roast. So guys, mom is making a seven layer salad and we're having standing rib roast and roasted potatoes. Some people put more other stuff in there. So, so this is the stuff that you would need. You would need shredded cheese. You would need iceberg lettuce. Parmesan cheese. Parm. Some red onion, some bacon, and celery. Now I do, I don't put um, like the egg and the other stuff in mine. So I just, mine is probably not a seven layer, but we like it just the same. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna make the mixture, which includes the mayonnaise, sugar, and Parmesan cheese. Right. Yes. You gotta have your Hellman's. And it's so good. Also, we do put sweet peas, um, frozen peas that she oh, soak yeah. them in water. So she's gonna go get that. Just show you guys. This knife is sharp as hell. <laughs> Sweet peas, y'all. And it's so good. Mm-hmm. All right, here's just bacon. All right, so we got more bacon, bacon, right, bacon, so bacon. Mm. Look at right, that, y'all. Everyone loves. Just save it. Just rinse off until we cut the rib roast. So right now she's scooping the mayo inside of a bowl. How many spoonfuls you think, Ma? About half a container of mayo. Maybe like four tablespoons. Yeah, but I, I, I just eyeball it. I, I don't never measure anything, sorry. Mm -hmm. I just eyeballed it. I need to just cut those up. DJ, you forgot to cut the celery. Oh, dang. I'm about to edit these pictures. Okay. Time to change duty. I'm wink moody on duty. Sugar. So it's probably a half a cup of sugar. So you're going to put a half a cup of sugar. Again, I'm going to eyeball this. And the mayo, make it sweet like a like a um. Well, I wouldn't really say it's like a salad dressing. It's more like a a, a slaw, a coleslaw mixture. Cause you know coleslaw is sweet. So let me zoom in so you guys can see, Mama Bree. So she's coming over just for y'all can see. Okay, so I'm mixing up mayo and sugar. So but add some Parmesan cheese to this. I have this Parmesan cheese too. Oh yeah. Right. So I'm gonna put that inside of that. Um, Fresh parm. This is our Christmas cooking video. You might as well just leave it in there. Our Christmas cooking video, guys. We don't do turkey and all that other stuff. We only do the steak. A little rib roast. Oh, I gotta show you guys the rib roast, too. So look at that. It's seasoned with the garlic, cracked black pepper, salt, Can make cut those um like a little thin yeah yeah not too thin thin slices right mm -hmm. and we also put celery in the salad as well 
We don't put celery in I don't put celery on Sometimes mama do put celery. I just put like four. Yeah. Because that's the heat shower, so he don't like it. I'm sorry, Sean's about to use the knife now to cut up the celery in little, little bite, little size pieces. Smaller. Yeah. And I'm about to layer. And look how great this knife chops, guys. All right, so right now Mama Brie is layering the salad. So now she put the lettuce and then she puts the red onion on top. Here's the peas. In the sink. Oh, should I pass her the peas like they used to do? Pass the peas like they used to do. You can just just pass this. You can just give it some nice fun. Look at those green peas, guys. All right, now she's putting the cheese of Parmesan cheese. And I cut them in half, like if you can get a little bit in half. Some cheddar cheese. I'll put it in this bowl when you finish. Cheddar, 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 cheddar. Some peas. The peas is so good, they like burst in your mouth with the little sweet dressing. You feel me? And some bacon. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, let me have those. Watch that. Thank you. All right, put them back in. All right, she putting the celery. And then a couple tablespoons of the dressing. So now the dressing is gonna melt. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be a little bit more liquefied. I finally know how to bake it now, so I can make it at home. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Like I said, people put egg in it. You could put what? Yeah. People put, put ham. Whatever you want. Turkey. Put I don't like all that turkey and ham though. It's like. I don't know. I don't know why I don't like ham and turkey in my salad. I just don't. Yeah, me I rather just bacon, which is still. I like ham. steak on my salad. Yeah. So she just put Parmesan, she's just using Parmesan and cheddar. And you can use mozzarella if that's what you like to. But you know, Parm has that little bite, so it makes the, it balances well with the, um, the bacon and the dressing. Oh yeah, and green onion is good in this as well, y'all. If y'all like green onion, cut that up in here. It's bomb. And yes, I'm pretty sure you guys hear snoring in the background. That's the dogs. Y'all, it's always that one person that comment and be like, I hear snoring. If you are a subscriber, you would know who those people are. And those are dogs. I mean, they're not people, but they're dogs. I'm just going to use the rest of this because mm -hmm. this is, we have the end of the rainbow. 
Mm -hmm. At the end of the road. Charles leave? Mm -hmm. I'm just sleep. these peas so y'all it's gonna be pee really peasy. <laughs> easy you ain't wasted easy. nothing. Easy peasy baby. Think you can make this? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the mess I'm making. And you can use whatever salad dressing you like. If you like Miracle Whip, dupes, whatever. So you guys try this recipe and let us know how you guys like it. And don't forget to order this knife. This knife is amazing. And you can use my promo code in the description below to get something off. Voila. All right, y'all. <laughs> so we'll be back to show you guys the standard rib roast once it's finished baking and we'll have it a plated plate. And you guys can see the finished product of our Christmas dinner. Alright, mom is cutting with the Godmore knife. Smooth. It's not too too hard to cut to cut. So we got a small rib roast this year because we never eat it. We never eat all of it. We waste it. <clears throat> so how do you feel about the the Godmore knife, Mom? Love it. Wow. Look how, look how nice it's cutting. It is cutting really Ooh. good. You cook that great. That looks delicious. Can we see the handle? How do you feel about the handle? Handle. Nice, nice grip, everything. Nice. Okay, like oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah, that looks like it's super easy to cut. It looks comfortable on the hand. Hmm. Show us the knife blade, and let's see the let's see the look on the other side. That's the handle. Oh, okay, that cut nicely. I think usually we don't have this easy of a time cutting that. I mean, I usually cut it. At this point, we're just showing our food. Like, you know, bring the volume down and put music. Well, obviously, you're gonna have to. I know I'm talking, but they're eating while I'm talking. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you 
so you probably already know it's a dollar. Mom using the God more knife. Make sure you order yours. Get you one, boo. We got ours. Get you one. <laughs> and Merry Christmas to everybody. We'll just put his plate in the microwave. All right, guys. So I plated a plate, one of our Christmas plates, with a standing rib roast, seven layer salad, and roasted potatoes with parsley. It looks great. <laughs> 